Have you ever imagined a colossal structure that not only defies the limits of engineering, but also revolutionizes an entire region's landscape, providing water, energy, and hope? Called the Yusufeli Dam, this project will essentially use the power of the Euphrates River, manipulating the flow of the water to create hydroelectric energy that will have the capability to provide clean electricity to millions of households throughout Turkey. Today, we unravel the story of a groundbreaking project a dam that has shattered records and transformed lives. What does it take to build a $200 billion Turkish mega dam? Let's find out. Brief overview of the $200 billion Turkish mega dam project. The Yusuf Ali Dam is being built in Artvin, a province in Turkey, along the Choru River. The dam will comprise a 558 megawatt hydropower plant. While the plan to construct the dam was entered into the country's development plans in the late 90s, the project was officially inaugurated in 2021 by the President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Ergan, with the first commercial operations being initiated in the same year. At its maximum capacity, the HEPP is projected to create sustainable electricity, estimated to produce more than 1.8 million kilowatts per hour every year. Some record-breaking achievements of the dam and its significance. The Yusuf Ali began storing water at the start of 2023, and it's projected that the HEPP will start producing electricity towards the end of 2023. One of the most remarkable things about its development is the fact that the engineers had to create a unique crane system to transport trucks carrying cement and other mixing materials, as the dam is being built in the middle of two huge mountains, which are at an elevation of 3,000 feet. Trucks and machinery weighing several tons were seen being lifted by the crane system at a height of 275 meters. In addition, the construction also embedded over 4,000 water and temperature measuring devices throughout the entirety of the dam. Moreover, there were several seismic devices also used, allowing the dam to accurately calculate the intensity and magnitude of potential earthquakes in the surrounding region. A unique concrete development area has to be designed to construct the dam with subsequent excavation activities being carried out at a depth of 450 meters. The concrete facility produced up to 20,000 cubic meters of cement each day. To put things in perspective, this is enough concrete to develop up to 80,000 apartments. The background of the project. You'd be surprised to know that the first research into building this dam began in the late 70s. And after a decade, the government was able to create a master plan for its construction. However, the first foundation of the Yusuf Ali Dam was laid in 2013. But why does Turkey need a $200 billion mega dam? Well, you have to understand that the nation has to depend on energy imports. In 2021, the total energy imports made by Turkey stood at 4.8 exajoules. While the country has over 700 hydroelectric power plants, they only account for 17% of its total energy production, which can be low for a nation that has a population of 84.78 million 2021. Moreover, because of Turkey's unique geographical positioning between Europe and Asia, it's surrounded by a dearth of incredible river systems and very good climate. Some of the primary river systems in the country include the Euphrates and the Tigris located in the southeast and northern Turkey respectively. These rivers offer Turkey the opportunity to harness these resources on a mega scale, optimizing not just its energy sector but also enhancing its agricultural and industrial sectors. After all, Turkey has historically been an agricultural nation, contributing 7% of its total GDP in 2020. Constructing dams and innovative irrigation systems has helped the country make better use of the vast arable land it has consistently enhancing its yearly crop yields. An overview of the region and its water resource challenges. Although Turkey is blessed with abundant water resources, the fact is, they aren't evenly distributed throughout the nation. For instance, while the people living in the eastern and southeastern regions of Turkey have a stable supply of water from both the Tigris and Euphrates, the people living in the southern and western regions of the country have scarce access to water. These regions include some of the most populated cities of Turkey, such as Istanbul and the nation's capital, Ankara. The importance of the dam in addressing water scarcity and energy needs. The Yusuf Ali Dam will play a significant role in helping Turkey combat its water scarcity issues. Moreover, it will help the nation further expand its capabilities to create sustainable energy throughout the nation and slash its dependency on foreign energy imports. 
which can bleed a country's foreign reserves and increase taxes. As per the data posted by the companies constructing the dam, it was identified that the dam, upon initial operation towards the end of 2023, will generate up to 2% of the required need for electricity in Turkey. At full capacity, the dam has the power to provide electricity to more than 2.5 million people and has the potential to generate up to 5 million liras annually, massively contributing towards the growth of the local economy. Engineering Marvel – Design and Construction To build the dam, engineers had to excavate gigantic caves, with some reaching lengths and heights of 110 and 55 meters respectively. Massive caves! But the scope and scale of the Mega Dam project are like nothing else ever built in Turkey. The Yusuf Ali Dam is projected to store and process up to 4,500 cubic meters of water flowing from the Chura River. The dam can also withstand a huge amount of pressure, more than 5,800 cubic meters every second. The water entering the dam will fall from a height of 220 meters, landing right on the turbines effectively producing clean electricity. This is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The construction of the dam also consisted of special steel wires and ropes along with specially made drilling equipment. The ropes were situated in a total of 6,000 areas around the dam with each rope pulling in tens of tons of equipment and machinery. Moreover, innovative techniques and strategies were implemented to quickly heat and cool the concrete, bringing it to an optimal temperature necessary to set and withstand all types of weather conditions. In addition, to stop the water from landing right into the HEPP turbines at high speeds, engineers were able to construct 90-meter, specifically manufactured water breaking pools to prevent any risk of abrasion or damage to the inner walls of the dam. The total number of people working on the project amounted to 7,000, with over 250 engineers brought in from South Africa. Furthermore, there were also huge transportation tunnels, 62 kilometers, made for the people of Yusuf Ali district. The tunnels have effectively minimized total travel time, making transportation easier and more optimized. In addition, there are six kilometers of galleries constructed right beneath the dam, which will allow engineers and maintenance professionals to operate the dam. Moreover, the dam also has an added feature, and that's the fact that it can effectively manage the flow of the Chura River, helping streamline the water flow downstream to other dams throughout the country. Record-breaking features. The Yusuf Ali Dam is easily the tallest in Turkey, easily dwarfing the famous Ataturk Dam, which stands at a whopping 554 feet. The Yusuf Ali, on the other hand, is 902 feet long and is the fifth biggest dam across the world. At the moment, the dam has an energy producing capacity of 558 megawatts. However, once it is fully completed, the dam is projected to produce a staggering 1.9 billion kilowatts per hour per annum, bringing in millions of liras in yearly revenue for the Turkish economy. In addition, the Yusuf Ali Dam is also expected to quickly optimize the energy manufacturing capacity of other dams near the regions, such as the Borçka, Artvin, Muratli and Derina dams. All of these dams are situated downstream of the Chora River. Furthermore, the Yusuf Ali Dam has a total water storing capacity of 2.1 billion cubic meters, which is enough to easily power more than 2.5 million households, or for perspective, more than 700,000 TOG cars, which is Turkey's first locally manufactured EVs. Standing at a high equal to a 100-level megastructure, the dam is currently undergoing a controlled water flow and retention process. In September 2023, the total water stored in the dam reached a depth of up to 700 meters, standing at more than 190 meters in height. It has a total of three functioning electricity production units. Impact on the local environment and ecosystem According to the Yusuf Ali County Agricultural Feasibility Report, which was posted decades before the dam was constructed, it was identified that the subsequent development of the Yusuf Ali Dam in the future would have a significant impact on the region's overall ecology. The report suggested that the construction would strip the agricultural lands surrounding the site of their nutrients, preventing farmers from cultivating any crops, and thereby reducing the level of agricultural output of the district. The same goes for animal husbandry in the area. There will be no viable land left. In addition to the report, an analysis brought forward by the General Directorate of National Parks during the same period also stated that the construction of the dam would completely flood more than 450 hectares of national parks and wildlife conservatories near and around the Chura River, resulting in irreversible damage in the valley, stripping the area of its biodiversity. Economic and Environmental Impact On the other hand, purely in economic terms, the development of the dam has so far resulted in the job creation of more than 7,000 people. The project is being constructed by multiple developers and companies with thousands of tons of materials being supplied each day for the past several years. 
Building any type of dam, regardless of its size, requires a massive amount of equipment and materials such as steel, concrete, turbines, etc. In addition, the project also requires a large number of both skilled and unskilled labor, and at times offers residents nearby the opportunity to find stable employment opportunities that may last several years. Not to mention, several local industries also benefit from high volume trading, especially regional manufacturers and suppliers, leading to additional job creation, which in turn helps reduce unemployment. Moreover, dams also have the potential to create reservoirs that can be used for a variety of recreational activities Activities, such as boating and fishing, in safe zones of course. And if the dam is as big as the Yusufeli, there's no doubt it's going to attract a lot of international attention and in turn promote more tourism, leading to the birth of several tourism-based businesses, renewable energy production and reduced dependence on fossil fuels. Turkey imports much of its energy. They spend billions of dollars every year importing fossil fuels such as oil and coal, where the latter is used to generate electricity. On top of that, a lot of regions in Turkey are suffering from frequent water shortages and lack of electricity, which are two of the most important reasons why the Yusufeli Dam is being constructed. With hydroelectric power generation capabilities, Turkey will be able to provide clean and consistent electricity to its residents in not just the Yusufeli district, but the entire southern and western regions of the country. Moreover, by using hydroelectric energy production, the country can also vastly minimize its greenhouse gas emissions, combating environmental damage due to industrial pollutants and minimizing dependence on fossil fuel energy, environmental concerns and mitigation measures. The Yusufeli Dam can be considered as a classic case of the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You have to understand that the dam has massive economic potential and is an excellent way of curbing the water shortages faced by the local population in major cities. It is no way a win-win situation. The project is going to have a considerable adverse impact along the Chura River as well as the ecology that surrounds it. The Yusufeli district is rich in biodiversity and wildlife. The dam is going to risk hurting migratory birds and other bird species such as red vultures. Not to mention the construction is also going to displace the local land-based wildlife such as brown bears, wolves and jackals. Some say that the project's development never factored in the need for preventative or mitigation measures to conserve the ecology of the land. Instead, the project was solely based on its ability to boost the country's economy, cultural and social impact. The Yusufeli Mega Dam project was marred with protests and controversies. After all, the entire town, along with more than six villages, had to be relocated. Thousands of people were displaced and were left heartbroken and in despair, having to leave the only home and assets they ever owned. However, the government has since 2022 developed more than 2,600 residential units for the displaced citizens to reside. In addition, the project led to the closure of more than 315 businesses which means they now have to start over again. 